rainbow trap. So I'm getting the scales out this way. when the guts are out. I prefer guts in to do this but it seems like people don't like to clean the fish by themselves. Scale then means clean then rinsed. So I want to just split it open. And you get the knife along the bone. And this is this is scale. And this the bones are very soft uh, trust so you can just use regular knife and Sometimes I split the head like this. Yeah. Salt. At least 15 minutes before you cook that you salt the fish. 15 minutes in the fridge and you keep the fish in the fridge when it's hot particularly and then uh, flour it not too much pan is warm half and half Butter and fat. I use olive oil. Skin side down first. Even though I don't eat the head, there's not much to eat. I like to have it stone just so I use a big pan. Oh, by that too big fish. When the fish is too big, they won't fit into the pan hole. And that looks awful. And I don't want to broil or bake this type of fish. Unless you have an oblong pan to fry the fish. I think a pound and a little bit, something like this. And I think just a few minutes. Longer on the first side, shorter later. So first you cook 60 or 65 percent of the fish one side, and then flip over and do the rest. That's the basic rule of cooking a fish. I think meat too. smells good. If it smells fishy, that's not a good sign of fish. It smells like fish, but not the bad smell. Oh, they're done. So I serve it on the plate. And 
there will be some. Best something to go with. So this is the tonight's dinner. Rainbow trout, sauteed squash, corns, corn, uh, just a one year of corn. Uh, they are all from Green Market at Union Square Park. Ooh, bon appetito. That's how I eat fish in a Japanese way, even that the cat will pass this fish. There was nothing left. It was good.